In the world of office politics, not all warnings are loud and clear. Today, we're exploring eight subtle but critical signs that you might be getting fired. It's information that could make all the difference. Welcome back to EM, your go-to place for business success. This is your Captain Al speaking. Let's go. Understanding office politics. Office politics can be tricky. However, it's a game you have to play. You cannot just opt out like the UK did from the EU. Based on insights from Rick Brandon's book, Survival of the Savvy, we know that success at the workplace is not just about your performance, but also about perceptions. It helps to be neither overly political nor extremely non-political. Strike a balance. You must create a corporate buzz around your name. Make allies, sell your wins, give credit where it's due, create value. There are times, however, when a company may have decided to maneuver you out of a position. To help you be prepared ahead of time, here are eight signs that you actually might be getting fired. Sign one, decreased workload. If you notice that key projects are being reassigned or your responsibilities are dwindling, it might be a red flag. It's important to find out why this is happening. You have to watch behavior, talk to people you trust, try to figure out what's going on behind the scenes. Sign two, exclusion from meetings. Are you suddenly not invited to important calls? Inclusion in these gatherings is often a sign of your status in the company. Make sure it's not by mistake. If repeated, you will know for sure it's probably not a coincidence. Exclusion could indicate a shift in your perceived value. Sign three, negative feedback. Are you noticing a surge in negative feedback from your superior or colleagues? Constructive criticism is normal, but if the feedback becomes consistently negative or you're suddenly facing unwarranted criticism, it's time to take notice. If your supervisor is actually planning on getting rid of you, they will make you feel this with their feedback. Sign four, your boss is distant. If the usual open door policy has changed and your supervisor is less approachable or communicative, this could be a warning sign. Try him or her by approaching with interesting ideas, follow up questions and the like. Read body language. They may not put into words what their posture may already disclose though. Sign five, financial troubles in the company. Be aware of the company's financial health. If it's publicly traded, check out the most recent earning calls. Talk to people from the finance department to gauge where the ship is sailing. Layoffs often come when a company is struggling financially. Stay informed about your company's fiscal status and the economy as a whole. Sign six, scrutiny over work details. Is your boss starting to scrutinize the minutiae of your work? Asking about how long tasks take how much resources you will need to do this and that smaller project? This increased attention to detail could indicate they're evaluating your efficiency or looking for faults. This trick may also serve to figure out your tasks and design the next job profile, the one that is might be replacing you. Sign seven, colleagues are avoiding you. If you're being left out of casual conversations or lunch plans, it might mean they know something you don't. Other things being equal, people avoid those who have fallen out of grace or who carry an aura of negative corporate buzz. Note, negative buzz may be justified or not justified. What matters is perception. If some players spread a negative buzz around your name and this starts resonating off of your ears, know that there is probably something in the cooking. Sign eight, you hear gossip about yourself. Any gossip concerning your job status or person? Managers in rather political organizations often spread rumors before firing you to prepare the scene. But they want to look good, so they will make sure you look bad. While this is extremely Machiavellian, no doubt of the dark Machiavellian kind, it still is a major red flag that shouldn't be ignored by you. What to do? Did you find two or more of these signs apply to you? First, don't panic. Start by seeking feedback and clarifying your status and role. Enhance your visibility by contributing to key projects. Network internally, see whom you can activate within your corporate network to act as allies. Know that gossip and avoidance actually is meant to isolate you. So don't fall into that trap, stay outgoing. Keep up business as usual. If the powers that be sense you have smelled the fish, they will probably feel compelled to act in ways that won't be nice for you. Most importantly though, it helps to have friends that will back you up when things go south. Also, keep your resume updated, send out a couple of applications. Do so when you first start having doubts, just in case. In conclusion, navigating office politics is a skill and staying alert to the signs described earlier is part of it. 
Remember, being prepared is your best defense. Speaking of which, if there is any offense move you may think of to get out of the conundrum, such as bringing home important wins, by all means try it out. At this point, you probably have little to lose. For more tips on career advancement and workplace dynamics, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Till next time, EM fellows, cheers.